Good morning, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching us. And welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to be learning how to convert Figma to HTML code. Figma is a site that helps you create nicely looking websites because it simply uses drag and drop and of course simple text tools to just create a website like the one you can see on my screen. Now the challenge comes if you want to get the code for the site that you have created using Figma and therefore in this tutorial we are going to be looking at three simple ways to create code or to convert Figma to HTML. So to do that you will definitely need to have your website designed. You notice this one is a website that I've already designed and I can edit this, you notice it is fully editable. Can drag this, I can drop it. So this is a site that I've already designed using Figma. And in this YouTube channel, we have a different tutorial on how to design a website using Figma and you're welcome to watch that also. So now how do we convert this simple website that I've just created from Figma to HTML? To do that, I'm going to be using three methods. The first one, I'll be using Figma to HTML plugin. To get that, I'll come to my Figma. Then on the left hand side at the top here on the main menu, I'll click on that. And down here I'll come to plugins. And then because I want to use Figma to HTML, I'm going to click on Figma to HTML. If you have not used this before, you won't find it under reasons. So you won't be having the plugin here. So these are plugins that are already installed. So how do you install the Figma to HTML plugin? You simply come down here under find more plugins. You click on that. And then up here, you type Figma to HTML. So you notice we have it here. And so to use it, you simply click on run. And then as simple as that, you'll be able now to view it here. You notice we have here Figma to HTML and that will be it. So now that I have already installed mine, I simply come over here. I'll come to plugins here and then I'll come to Figma to HTML and I click on that once. It will bring this Figma to HTML float window and you notice here there is nothing selected. So I want to convert the whole thing. If I want to convert just a portion, I'll just click on that. Maybe I just want to convert the Joshnet production title here. I click on that. So you notice it comes here. Then I can convert that only. But now remember we want to convert the whole website. So I'll come here and click on this part, desktop one, because that is what will select everything. That is what will select the entire frame for me. You notice this frame has all these elements so i'll simply click on desktop have everything selected you now notice under figma to html you notice it looks the same as the web we have just created down here you can choose the options either from html or legacy and the output here you can choose how you want it to be i want to use zip so that i can download this as a zip code so i'll click on zip and then I'll click on convert and you notice now it is in progress and it will convert that to HTML. So you'll simply give it time depending on the complexity of your website on Figma and now it is done. You now notice our code here is ready for download. I'll click on download then I'll save it now on my downloads. Let me call it Figma code then I'll click on save it will download and now if I count my download you notice we have the Figma code zip here so I'll come to that then I'll open that Figma code and you notice it has all this it has the node for JSON and even the images here that is how I have now converted my Figma to HTML and I can open the HTML document here to get our HTML. You notice we have the names here. And so that is the first way to convert Figma to HTML. The second way 
we can use Figma to code. To do that, I still come to my main menu, then come to plugins, then look for a plugin called Figma to code, and you'll notice it because it has into brackets, HTML, Tailwind, and Flutter. So if you don't have it, the same way we downloaded the other plugin, you simply come here, down, find more plugins, and then you type here, Figma to code, and you'll notice it's here, then you'll click on run. So once you run it, if I click on run, you notice it opens this because I've already installed it. So if you now install it, you simply come back here, plugins, then Figma to code. I'll click on that. And you now notice that my website here, if I click on uh, the first one here for React, you notice our HTML figure code is here. If I scroll down, you notice we have our code generated here and we can decide to use the Tailwind uh, by clicking on that. So you notice our code is already generated here and I can select it and then paste it I simply by just dragging and then selecting the code and then copying it and pasting it where I want. I can also check on the layer names here and then I can also change that to Flutter and all that. So you notice our code is here all the way up to the end. So plus down here, plus again down here, you notice it also gives us the colors that we have used on our website. That is black, red, and this light red. So it gives us all that. So if I want to use this code now, I can simply copy, click on copy. And then if now I open WordPad, I can paste the code there. Now the last way is to use overlay. To get the, to get the overlay, still do the same. Come to the main menu, plugins, then find more plugins, then type, you find overlay is there, and then you click on it, and then you run it. Once you run it, then it will be there under your reasons, like you notice in mine it's here, overlay is here. So the difference between overlay and the other two we have used is that for overlay, you have to create a component. And then for overlay, again, you also have to create an account. So to do that, once you click on that, it will bring this window, and you click down here on create account, which will bring you to this site for overlay, and you'll be required to register here using your email, then the password, so that now I can have an account with overlay. And then, congratulations, your account is now active, you can start building amazing design. So if now I come back to my to my Figma, now I can log in here by clicking here, log in with browser. It takes me to my account here where I've created. Again, I just type my email there and then my password and then I'll log in. Then I'll fill in these simple questions and then submit. And then you notice now here, Overly asks me, I log in with this email and open the Figma. So I'll click yes, so that I now, so that I am now able to get to Figma. So I'll click on open Figma. I'll click on open Figma. And now if I go back to my Figma, you notice now here, it welcomes me overly, it welcomes me here. I no longer have to log in here. Then I'll do the steps here. And then of how the layout happens and then I'll just click on that and then I'll complete it. And so to start exporting components, select a component, then open overlay. So I'll click on OK. And to get the component, I want to export the whole web here. So I'll click on that. And then up here, you notice we have the word create component. I'll click on create component. So that now, you notice we have our component here called local component, this one. So now I've created a component. So I'll now come back here, plugins, overlay, and then and then now I can click on desktop one, create project, and then my project name. And now here, three layers have not been uh, renamed. I don't have to rename them. Then I'll now click on export. 
And you notice here now we have all this, whether to add the colors or to ignore what to add in terms of the fonts, all this. So if I'm okay with them as they appear here, I just click on add all. So they are all added. For the typographies, again, I'll click on add all. And then, and then it will now take me to this site where we now have the overlay, which has now already converted my codes down here. You notice we have the React and the SCSS code. So if I want the React code, I'll copy it here. You notice it's all here. If I drag this upward so that you can see the code. So here yeah, we have the code already. And then we have this SCSS code here. And we can see our website up here, the one we created from Figma. So if I want to copy the React code, I'll simply click on Copy. If now I come to my Word document here and I click on Control V, you notice we have now pasted our code as it is. That is simply how you can convert Figma to HTML using those three methods. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.